Ladies and gentlemen, Damian Nelson coming to you here from MaxSportsOnline.com in the studios of Max Sports Online. Welcome to yet another Raw Wrap-Up. Let's go right into the good, the bad, the ugly of the show this week. Coming to you from Birmingham, Alabama with Joey Styles, the coach, and Jerry Lawler on the stick. The McMahons, basically, is one of the good things about tonight's Raw. A McMahon-filled show, but one where every single segment involving the McMahons was entertaining and perfectly executed. From the opening segment of the award, the Academy Award winning uh, by Vince McMahon and the acceptance speech with the stills in the background and the dismissal, if you will, public dismissal of Marty Jannetty, making the match official for WrestleMania, Vince McMahon going one-on-one one -on -one against Shawn Michaels and further hyping both the WrestleMania matchup and the match at Saturday night's main event. From there we see Stephanie McMahon drug Shawn Michaels in a just perfectly executed night of McMahon interaction on Raw. Next in the good parts of Raw was basically the WrestleMania Rewind match concept. Very interesting to see the old WrestleMania fonts, the old WrestleMania music, not the original WrestleMania music, but probably as old as many fans would remember. And Two good matches that came out of prior WrestleMania shows, acknowledging the fact that that is something that has happened in the past, and embracing it and bringing those matches again tonight, but making them both meaningful. I truly believe that the Divas angle right now is probably the best Divas angle that we've ever seen in WWE. They simply are delivering. Candice Michelle, Tori Wilson, Victoria... Uh, Mickey James and Trish Stratus are delivering some actually intriguing Divas uh, storylines for weeks now on Raw. And I think really this week it clicked with me. Uh, I think it had a little something to do with the Playboy thing. But it clicked with me that these Divas are delivering, not necessarily as far as matches go, but they're bringing the stories to the table. be interested to hear what you people have to say about that. Feel free to send us your emails or post on the message board. The good part of the show as well was Cena's FU of Big Show at the, in the uh, main event matchup. Now, we've seen that before in their matchup at WrestleMania 20, but sheer strength on the part of John Cena by picking up uh, the dead weight, if you will, that is the Big Show. And Joey Styles seemingly showed up for work today and was allowed to let loose and actually delivered solid commentary. The Joey Styles of old was on Raw tonight, and peppered by the coach and the king. It was a good, good, good Raw all over the board, in my opinion. There were some bad things, however. Firstly, the break, promo, promo, break. And what I mean by that is going to commercial, coming back and airing a series of promos, never showing the arena or going to the arena, and then going to commercial again. Last I checked, it was a wrestling show. We should see some wrestling between breaks. Lita and Maria. That matchup, hmm... Not necessary at all, in my opinion. Mick Foley doing the run-in after the match, getting speared. All that could have been done by Ed simply coming out and accepting the challenge for the matchup. Uh, the camera crew of WWE rarely misses a golden opportunity like this, but the suplex off the top rope that John Cena executed on the big show is not something that should have been missed. And even though it got missed, it should have been something that we perhaps should have seen in a replay. If you want to talk about how big the match is and talk about how great John Cena is, you probably want to show when he actually does something pretty amazing in the matchup. And tonight, only one time did we hear it, but there was still the coach's old baby. Towards the end of the night, in the final matchup, coach let loose one old baby. He's getting there, I guess. And the ugly from Raw tonight is uh, simply the announcement that Cowboy Troy is going to be on Raw next week. Uh, we've also heard that John Cena will be making an appearance on the uh, the uh, Nashville Star Show coming up at the end of this month, uh, going into, again, the cross-promotion of WWE programming on the networks of NBC and USA, and uh, also just doing more hyping for WrestleMania. That's the good, the bad, the ugly in this week's Raw Wrap-Up. Let's go to a show summary now. This match, I'm sorry, the match that was made for WrestleMania 2 of uh, Sh WrestleMania 22, Shane McMahon, uh, Vince McMahon rather, going up against Shawn Michaels in a matchup. It was he hinted at last week. We Some of us knew it was official. Well, now the match officially made in that opening promo. So it's now billed as a big WrestleMania matchup. 
It uh, looks like the Money in the Bank matchup, which, as you saw, the uh, general manager from SmackDown, Teddy Long, coming over and announcing that three SmackDown superstars after the qualifying matches this week will be participating in that matchup as well. We actually had a viewer submit an, uh, a message on the message board asking if that was going to happen, and the answer to your question came tonight from Raw. Three on three, SmackDown versus Raw, Money in the Bank, but it looks to me as well from the Flair Shelton Benjamin match that it will also potentially have some Intercontinental Championship involvement. Otherwise, I didn't need to see the Ric Flair Shelton Benjamin match tonight. Great hour one. I mean, honestly, the first hour of Raw was one of the best hours of professional wrestling weekly television I've seen in a while, and it continued on through hour two, which slowed down just a bit with a couple of meaningless matches, but really, really was a good effort from WWE in the first hour of Raw. And again, Saturday Night's Main Event. WWE is doing something very unique here, folks. They're hyping Saturday Night's Main Event and WrestleMania at the same time. You know, we see them do it with No Way Out, and back when No Way Out was not a branded pay-per-view, which I mean, not just for SmackDown, but for the entire company, it was a little cumbersome at times. But now we see that it is a Saturday Night's Main Event leading into Raw, I'm sorry, leading into WrestleMania, and part of the WrestleMania hype, if you will, is Saturday Night's Main Event, which is going to be in prime time on a Saturday night on NBC. Good opportunity to get more hype out there for WrestleMania and to bring it all together, if you will, just a couple of weeks before WrestleMania. And again, solid build towards Saturday Night's Main Event with the Raw Main Event versus the SmackDown Main Event. Also, the Shane McMahon, HBK Street Fight, which... Again, when the match was made tonight, I got a little, eh, I don't want to see it until Saturday night's main event, but it was well executed with Stephanie drugging Shawn Michaels' drink. Solid promotion for Saturday night's main event. Solid promotion for WrestleMania 22. That's this week's Raw Wrap-Up, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, you can join us, whether it's here on MetSportsOnline.com, YouTube, or Google Video, every single Monday night for the Raw Wrap-Ups. We also bring you our weekly television program uh, at the end of the week on Fridays right here on the Internet as well. Damian Nelson signing off, welcoming you to send us your electronic mail messages or post messages on the message board over at MaxSportsOnline.com. The Raw Wrap-Up is now in the books for this week. We'll see you next time right here on MaxSportsOnline.com.